Krav Maga versus martial arts for self-defense. Krav Maga versus Jiu Jitsu or MMA or, or uh, Krav Maga versus wrestling or Krav Maga versus Karate or Kung Fu or whatever martial art or combat sport you like, you do, whatever it is. You know, this is a topic that always gets brought up and I want to make a quick video talking about why Krav Maga is effective for self-defense and why no other martial art really compares. Firstly, let me say, I love other martial arts. I do jujitsu. I train in it regularly, almost every day. And I train in Muay Thai as well, almost every day. And I also practice a lot. I, I train Kapoweda and do other things. I've got multiple uh, belts and ranks in other martial arts, but when it comes to training, when people say, which one's better, Krav Maga or MMA, Krav Maga or Jiu Jitsu, Krav Maga or wrestling, for self-defense training, for someone who really wants to learn how to defend themselves, protect themselves, and just get uh, an understanding, uh, a basic level at least, a solid basic level here, okay? Uh, I'm not talking about like highest of the high levels, but basic level, then obviously it's Krav Maga, okay? It really is Krav Maga. Uh, many of you will say, oh, but MMA, it's, you know, they get to spar and fight. If you're training in a good Krav Maga school, you should be sparring and fighting and doing drills and all of that stuff. So, yeah. Um, others will say Jiu Jitsu because, you know, again, you've got that pressure, it's close range. Mm. But typically in a sport context, learning lots of different moves that just aren't relevant for self-defense. So look, I'm gonna keep it short. The reason why Krav Maga is effective for self-defense, as long as you're training in a good school, because there's a lot of shit schools, but it's, if it's a good school, okay, it's gonna be covering weapons defenses, sticks, guns, knives. It's gonna cover multiple attacker. It's going to cover scenarios and situations that are actually happening for real you know, someone presenting a knife, like mugging you or something, all right? Uh, a choke, a grab, just different self-defense type threats, problems that you could face. And it also covers like the ability to talk your way out of a fight. You shouldn't be learning how to de-escalate, how to present yourself, how to recognize threats. You should understand the force continuum. You should understand the laws of self-defense in your area. And you should have a very strong understanding of it through the training, right? And you're not gonna do that in an MMA class. You're not gonna do that in a judo class or a jiu-jitsu class or a boxing class or a Muay Thai class. You are not going to train like that. And look, like I said, these skills in martial arts, all of those martial arts I mentioned that I love and train in will make you better at Krav Maga, there's no doubt. And if you do those systems, you train there and you learn some Krav Maga, you're going to be better off than the majority, okay? So uh, merit is given to boxing because it's very solid with striking. We use boxing in Krav Maga, okay? Uh, merit is given to BJJ in the ground fighting. We do and focus on the pins, scrambling, moving from position to position, the basic submissions, triangle, uh, an armbar, um, uh, a, a, a sit-up sweep or a, or a um, scissor sweep. You know, these are basic movements that not just everyone in BJJ will learn, but everyone in any holistic system should be learning the pins, the, the basic movements and maneuvers for ground. Uh, if you look at judo, like basic throws, uh, we, we have typically judo and wrestling type throws in, in Krav Maga. So having those skills is excellent and really specializing in those skills is going to make you uh, much better than the average Krav Maga student or the average martial arts student for that matter, right? So no dig there, but for pure self-defense, okay, whether if you're a brand new student, Krav Maga. For a holistic understanding of self-defense, irrespective of which martial arts you do, if you do all of those martial arts, then you do, do some Krav Maga to give you that full understanding. Or that said, and in truth, you can always pick and choose and bring on uh, what you 
what you feel is relevant to your situation, your environment, okay, what you do for work, you know, your personality and so on. But so most people don't have that ability to do that, but a martial artist does. A martial artist does. All right, so that's all I've got to say, man. Take it easy. Us.